All right, that's what the lawn is looking like today, Saturday the 14th of October. I think that it's about a month since I did the very heavy top dressing session. And uh, now it's time to get Frankenstein onto the lawn and give it a bit of a furt. Goeiemorgen, mensen. Right, so before we get into this, it must be mentioned that I have been mowing with the rotary mower up until now. That's why it looks still quite tidy. I have also done a herbicide application using Super Lawn Weeder to start tackling the Oxalis, which has crept up on me. Uh, it's looking pretty good though, under control. Uh, even the sort of lightly damaged, no, discolored, uh, Kikuyu sort of vibes have disappeared again since then. But the lawn is not looking perfect. And that is because I never fertilized it when doing the top dressing. I wanted to see if, because I'd never really just put down my normal chicken manure mix from uh, Newlands Garden Sand and then left it on its own. I've always fertilized with it. So I thought I want to do this because it was quite a lot of product that I put down, a few tons. And I thought, no, maybe that manure complement, chicken manure in particular, which is relatively high in nitrogen versus other composts and manures, I thought I might do something. But it's not nearly done enough. It's been quite a sickle actually to get the recovery here. Um, I would say I was grown mostly closed after about two weeks. And then all these other little bits over here now only in the last you know week or two uh, at best so it did struggle a bit but now i see i've got good growth it's looking quite tidy it's handling the mows nicely it's starting to feel like it's training beneath that height of cut but it's not quite that green that i want and i don't feel like it's growing as vigorously as what it should although the rain hasn't started or whatever let's mow the lawn fertilize and carry on with life. Just as a matter of interest, I'm actually about to start cutting this lawn area out uh, to make a bed against the wall. And you can sort of see the lines that I'm going to follow here by this new brick area and also the fact that I'm cutting out of this. It's also going to be a bed along the wall and that's to make my mowing life easier. So this bed will kind of turn like that. It will go like so. It will go around the front of the steps like that. You can never point and have the camera in focus all the time. Kind of curve like that and then go and then follow the rest of this line like that. So the middle is going to be lawn, everything against the house. So that'll now be the whole house. Uh, will be beds against the house. And that just makes your mowing life much, much easier. Because now, with, especially with the cylinder mowers, you can roll over the bricks and then just do a nice, neat little trim against the brick line with your weed eater uh, or edge trimmer. I want to get mine fixed up. And that just makes your mowing life a lot easier. To try and mow, especially with a cylinder mower against a wall, is near impossible. You always have to weed eat in there, and the weed eater is always taking chunks of the lawn out. It doesn't look tidy. So I'm going to make it tidy by changing the lawn area. Then down here, this bed will curve like so, and it will be kind of free form like the rest of the yard. What is going on with this camera? Um, it will kind of you know, be free form, so it will make like little curves and stuff like that. Go around the corner. And it will go all the way down the yard. And yes, that is my shade at, what time is it? Half past nine in the morning. So you can tell there's a little patch that was like a hole that's still being filled up and there as well. But these shadier areas will take longer to recover. So it will kind of go like this, the bed, all the way around until that bed. And then it will meet up with the back. And that's how the lawn is going to stay. And in time, I'm going to leave that whole bottom section beds. The lawn here, I'm about to start, uh, I've got some soil out front. I'm going to fill up this kind of chato that's over here. And we're going to let lawn grow back in there. This tree here. Yep, that tree is coming out this coming Friday. I've hired some guys to come and remove it for me and trim some other trees. You can see I started just removing bottom branches on this bit stinkoid. Because it's also gotten rather large. I don't know if you guys noticed. I trimmed it, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. I think the year before. And it was in good check, but that is now quite large. And uh, it's definitely causing me grief in this zone over here. So I think what will end up happening is once I filled up the lawn area and got it nice and neat and growing there, it will again be like a battle between Kikuyu, Bermuda and Alem to, you know, who's going to take the sunny areas. I think Kikuyu will kind of grow like that. And the Alem will end up being around the, the trunk of the tree. And... Uh, yeah, we'll end up with still the same kind of vibe that I've got going over here, on over here, but just with some more grass over there. And then this whole wall is going to be shrubs. You can see the one, what the heck are those called again? Potato bush. I pulled the one that's in this corner out. So that guy came out, 
but I've got to fix the irrigation now as well because the dog continues to dig after I was digging planted it in there I've planted a couple of other little shrubs all in here so they're gonna take years before they get big enough but yeah this is gonna become a wall of shrubs that guy's supposed to be a, a bush so I'm gonna cut it down from being more like a tree and back into a bush at some point as well but yeah whatever man let's mow Not bad, no stripes, uh, although I think that I've slightly sculpted. The height of cut is set to 10 millimeters. Single pass, the grass is still quite thin after the, uh, the top dressing, as I said, I went really thick. Um, so what's stood out is still kind of thin. So I don't think that it's necessary to do a double or triple or quadruple pass. The single pass is gonna be fine for now, but I am gonna raise the height of cut for the next couple of mows. And I don't think you would have picked it up in the video, I want to show you something else so that's that's kind of what i'm going to do with the flower bed it'll obviously change when i start cutting it out but wherever i didn't mow that is going to be flower bed i'm not sure if i'm going to continue lining it with bricks because i don't have enough bricks lying around the house i mean i might but for now i'm not so sure what i might do is just keep these bricks here until this fills up with lawn these little pavers are going to be kind of recessed so that I can roll over them with Frankenstein and then that will at least be cylinder mode. So it will be mowed like that down in a little strip, nice beds, lawn section, recessed pavers going back into the main lawn stretch like that and then that's going to continue as a bed, like a second layer of bed. Eventually when I get some moolah to redo the paving and all the rest of it then we'll get rid of the fans and we'll redo the pool kind of uh, the paving and the coping and all that in the kind of free form shape that the pool has and that will hopefully carry on looking right into the rest of the yard but there it is from a different angle there you can see where I'm still a little bit thin after the top dress but the rest is filled up quite nicely yeah I think we're off to a good start so now it's time for furt what I'm going to be putting down is Novatec NMAX I'm going to go at a relatively light rate because I'm too early technically for the summer feed and I'm very late for the spring feed. Uh, although technically speaking it was fed, just not enough or not right, not the right stuff basically, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. So the, we'll call this like a little top up feed, I'm going to give it about a kilogram of NMAX per 100 square meters. Um, but yeah, just jump onto my website if you want to follow that plan and then see what rate you should be applying at. I think it's the beginning of November. So we're not too far off, two weeks short. Who cares? Let's put that down.
Okay, so that was in real time. I've still got quite a bit left here. So it's about two kilograms when you fill it up to about there. So I reckon I did about two and a half with the first load. So I think that I'm just gonna run the rest of this over and that should take me to about, well, that'll be two of these tubs. So that's five kilograms. The whole area down here is about 500 square meters. So that'll be a kilogram per 100 square meters. So I'm gonna finish this, just set the spreader to a little bit of a lighter setting and then walk over the main part, the bottom part I don't really care about. So let me finish. If we just have a look over here, that's the grass up close, with the granules just sitting on the surface. So you can tell the sort of rough spacing that I've gone with here, or distribution, or whatever you want to fancy label it at. But yeah, grass is looking nice. I think that is a pretty good start to the season. And the next thing to do is water your lawn. You can't put down fertilizer and then think that it's going to do anything if it's not in the ground. So you have to water it for it to take effect. You're supposed to be watering your lawn anyway, so um, yeah, I suppose it's nothing new. Something of interest though, when it's dry like this now, the lawn surface is dry, the fertilizer granule is still dry, which means that it is probably not going to burn the grass. So if I choose to only water this later this afternoon, it should be fine. The but, if there's any, any amount of moisture on your lawn, that means that the little granule has started to dissolve, and that means that there's an extreme concentration against the leaf and that will burn the lawn. So it is advised that every time you put down fertilizer, you give it a good soaking. Don't try and put down fertilizer and then let the rain wash it in because you don't know what it's going to do. And lately we've been having these weird floods and, you know, apocalyptic type weather events. So don't put down fertilizer and then let the rain, the rain come and wash it away. You must apply with your irrigation or by a hose pipe manually so that you can control what's going down. Yeah, and that's it. I think I'll call it a day. Lawn's looking pretty nice though. Summer's gonna be lucky. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share this with your buddies, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.